The global focus on digitalization has permeated various sectors, including manufacturing. This transformation involves investing in advanced technology, highlighting the sector's commitment to innovation and people. Today in the digital fashion world, manufacturers have enduring interest in exploring new ways for, for contemporary technologies for improving their processes, system, productivity, and thereby their competitiveness. Having said that, there are many examples about uh, successful organizations uh, on their Industry 4.0 deployments. Successful Industry 4.0 deployments have been achieved by companies like Bosch, Siemens, Rolls-Royce, to name a few. Let's take an example. Rolls-Royce implemented real-time data capture sensors to monitor their jet engines' performances and created a cloud-based data analytics system that uses live monitoring of equipment to help predict need for repairs. It is uh, a kind of an amalgamation or an integration of various contemporary technologies which lead to a creation of cyber-physical systems. For example, technologies like cloud computing, robotics, Internet of Things, blockchain, uh, we have data analytics. All these technologies, when they are integrated to actually create synergies, talking to each other, where we have uh, a machine-to-machine -machine communication, which will create a great level of competitiveness for an organization. That phenomena is what we call as Industry 4.0. Industry 4.0 has resulted in significant gains, not only in reducing their costs or hitting the bottom line, but also in creating new products and services and thereby improving their top line and together creating a competitive advantage for those firms. Despite its success, Industry 4.0 has also posed several challenges to managers, especially in manufacturing. A recent survey shows that 29% of manufacturers who had successfully deployed Industry 4.0 face challenges in integrating all systems to enhance efficiency in this environment. For example, it could be about making machines talk to each other or integrating new technologies with their existing technologies or even creating clear systems that have an integration and not technology in silos. Now, creating such a system is not easy. One such important problem is about the socio-technical skills of people. When we are talking about technology, an important question is to think how much prepared are our people in an organization in order to embrace, integrate the technology into the system. In fact, in a recent survey by Gartner, more than 59% of organizations have claimed that they lack the people skills relevant for technology deployments today. This key factor points us towards examining how individuals, groups and organizations learn and contribute to behavioral shifts that Industry 4.0 underpins. And this forms the basis of Professor Vijaya Sundar and his team's research. We use organizational learning theory as a premise for this research and we set our research question to ponder on how organizational learning helps manufacturers today in order to create competitiveness with regard to Industry 4.0 deployments. Recently, there's been a rise in government interest in developing nations to promote adoption of Industry 4.0 for a forward-looking future. This is evident from India's Make in India campaign. Indonesia's Making Industry 4.0 program and China's Make in China 2025, to name a few. Now, on one side, when we have a great support from the government, on the other side, when we don't have enough skill set uh, or learning in people that could lead to success in Industry 4.0, this creates tension. And that is why our research question is scoped to developing economies. In order to validate our theoretical model, we collected data from 246 manufacturing firms across 12 different developing countries. A survey tool was created to evaluate the adoption of Industry 4.0 concepts 
in manufacturing firms, assessing organizational learning, business performance, and awareness. It defined Industry 4.0 using various digital technologies and considered firm attributes like age, size, sector, and location, while also examining technology awareness. Specific scales were used uh, to measure organizational learning at individual level, team level, uh, and at a firm level. And then we also looked at uh, how all of this have resulted into performance on two fronts. One is their operational performance and the other one could be their innovation performance. Our results indicate that Industry 4.0 adoption and learning mediate Industry 4.0 awareness and operational performance in organizations. So on one side we have uh, awareness of Industry 4.0, the technology awareness where the top management generally get excited by attending an event or by reading a book. The middle management generally look at some success case studies and the frontline employees often get excited by the word of mouth. These are great ways to increase awareness. However, this doesn't always translate to action and deliverables in organizations. What bridges the two is adoption practices and effective organizational learning. The results of the paper gave rise to a model that reflects on the levels of learnings that can happen. First, realize that the basic knowledge of awareness is not sufficient for deployment. So don't jump the gun to make any technology decisions just because you are excited about Industry 4.0. Second, when we talk about structured or systematic way of deployment, it is having two elements of learning embedded into it. The first is of course exploration, but after exploration there should be an exploitation of a technology in order to reap the complete harvest of Industry 4.0 in the organization and that leads to higher order learning which is more conscious, which is more deliberate and which may lead to more successful results in the firms. We also uh, highlight the third order or the meta learning as a key resource for managers because unless we know how our organization is really learning about technology phenomena, it is difficult to actually create path dependencies or idiosyncrasies for our own firm. That means you are actually using technology for competitive advantage in such a way that it is non-substitutable and inimitable by your competitors and thereby this becomes a very powerful competitiveness resource for manufacturers. It is important to understand that learning occurs at three levels on an individual level, on a team level and then at the organizational level. Each of these contribute to decisions and results of the organization. This overall system is what forms the pillar of organizational learning. Using statistical data, every factor was scrutinized to provide generalizability to the research findings. The research surprisingly revealed that organizational learning was not a good mediator for awareness to translate into performance. That was a surprising result for us because awareness by itself, a basic knowledge about something itself should lead to some increase in the performance. For example, let us think about a simple robotics process automation that many firms today are using. Just because I know a robotics process automation implementation which I heard of other firms which they are using or through an industry event, I should be able to implement some small parts of it, at least mimicking what has happened in other organizations. And by mere chance, this may result in some level of improvement. Results actually say that even with chance, we are not able to get any kind of productivity or any kind of higher operational performance due to that. Implementation of these learnings also showed that every success and failure encountered gives way to multiplied productivity over a period of a few years. Currently though, a myopic thinking prevails in the industry. The myopic thinking comes when managers actually build technologies or adopt technologies only for efficiency. So technology offers benefits uh, beyond efficiency. There are firms which have used technologies to create their own business models. We have seen telehealth models today. We have seen uh, uh, edutech models today. We are seeing e-commerce. 
we are seeing fintech models today tech fin models today now all these business models were created only because of leveraging technology exploring innovative possibilities can boost the entire industry fostering advanced learning in industry 4.0 deployment gives a competitive advantage and allows both digital giants and newcomers to grow mutually it becomes imperative then to rethink organizational approaches by focusing on behavioral change now we are shifting the paradigm from the technical side of being a right technology deployment to the behavioral side or the socio technical side about how people are embracing it